नमस्कार आई एम डॉक्टर सोमा सेन रॉय फ्रॉम इंडिया मीटरोलॉजिकल डिपार्टमेंट एंड वी विल बी डिस्कसिंग द वीकली वेदर फॉर द पास्ट वन वीक व्हिच इज फ्रॉम ट्वेंटी सेकेंड टू ट्वेंटी ऑगस्ट ट्वेंटी इफ वी सी द फोरकास्ट एंड द ऑब्जर्व वेदर ड्यूरिंग द पास्ट वन वीक we note that uh, during the first feature of the week was the monsoon trough in the beginning of the week it was at its normal position the western end gradually came down and today it passes from the deep depression over Guj- saurashtra and kutch and up to the uh, bay of bengal the eastern end has been along its normal position throughout the week the second feature that we are interested in is there were three low pressure systems of of which one of them has already become a deep depression and it now lies over uh, saurashtra and kutch this uh, deep depression it initially started as a low pressure system over uh, north bay of bengal uh, on 15th of august for uh, 16th of august but afterwards it gradually moved westwards and uh, it ha- now lies as a deep depression over saurashtra and kutch the second system uh, that has already dissipated it was only in the beginning part of the week uh, it is a continuation of the previous week's system a low pressure area had developed over the east central arabian sea which gradually moved northwards and on 23rd of august it became less marked the third system this has now formed today a uh, low pressure area has formed today and that low pressure area it is likely to intensify and move west north is northwest towards during the next 2 to 3 days over the uh, odisha andhra coasts along with these monsoon systems there were two extra tropical systems there were two western disturbances one was a long lived western disturbance from 22nd to 28th of august the other is from 28th to 29th of august these two western disturbances played a major role of, over the weather over northwest india during the week the highlight of this week was the deep depression which whose track has been shown from the depression stage as you can note it has gradually moved in a west southwest west southwesterly direction and now lies over uh, kutch area as of today evening it is likely to become a cyclonic storm and move into the north bay of bengal north arabian sea this is not a very abnormal fact for the uh, region because uh, in previous years also in 1944 1964 and 1976 there have been three systems during the month of august which have uh, come as a low pressure area then they have uh, intensified into cyclonic storms depression or cyclonic storms over the arabian sea there are more numerous instances of such uh, depressions forming over bay of bengal if we see the past weeks uh, weather that was as i mentioned the depression began its life as a low pressure area over north bay of bengal if you uh, see the way the system is gradually moving westwards it in started intensifying when it reached west madhya pradesh and further westwards and thereafter the intensity of rainfall over gujarat increased and we had 3 to 4 days of exceptionally heavy rainfall over gujarat and saurashtra kutch if you see the rainfall pattern you will note that the initial rainfall as you can see it starts along the west coast as well as east india because moisture is pulled in from the west coast and gradually you see the rainfall belt move westwards along with the movement of this weather system and extremely heavy rainfall has been recorded over saurashtra kutch during this week in quantitative terms if we see the highest rainfall values the oranges and red colors you can see they have been confined mostly to gujarat and saurashtra kutch 
parts of southwest rajasthan southeast rajasthan also got extremely heavy rainfall remaining parts of india were not devoid of rainfall in the sense that we had uh, along with this patch we had heavy rainfall very heavy rainfall over uh, tripura and mizoram and along the track of this low pressure area we also had rainfall from today onwards we expect the uh, rainfall to increase over odisha but that later in terms of subdivisional scale rainfall uh, as you can see most parts of central west and uh, uh, northern parts of peninsular india have had above normal rainfall during the last one week rainfall because of this uh, movement uh, and the position of the monsoon trough uh, the rainfall has been confined more to the central parts of india as well as north peninsular india uh, consequently the northern parts maybe uh, Jammu and Kashmir, Himachal Pradesh, Haryana, West Uttar Pradesh, Bihar, these regions have had deficient rainfall. This is typically an active rainfall phase that is visible here. If you see the seasonal rainfall other than Bihar and Arunachal Pradesh and Northwest India, that is uh, Jammu and Kashmir, Himachal Pradesh and Punjab, most parts of the country have received normal or excess rainfall during this season. This is the breakup of region wise rainfall. As you can see, the country as a whole, if you see during the month of August, so far rainfall has been normal or above normal. Uh, this is shown clearly in this that we have in fact uh, crossed the cumulative total which is uh, seasonal climatological total till now is 686 millimeter, 734 millimeter has been received. Most of the rainfall if you note has happened over uh, central India and also over uh, northwest and eastern northeast India. Peninsular India has been slightly deficient. So this is in terms of rainfall quantitative terms. As you can see, the cumulative rainfall has been minus 11 percent. Uh, during the week, it has been uh, 31 percent excess. And excess has been in the, during the week, the excess has been most over Northwest India and Central India. Uh, East and Northeast India slightly deficient, but South Peninsular India significantly deficient rainfall. So if we see the thunderstorms, uh, thunderstorm activity during this season, most of the northern parts of the country, mainly uh, central, east, north, northern parts of the country received a lot of thunderstorm activity. And there have been reports of lightning related deaths from Rajasthan as well as Madhya Pradesh. If we see today's synoptic systems, we note that uh, there has been, uh, there is a, uh, there is a deep depression from uh, continuing since the last two or three days over uh, Saurashtra and Kutch. This system is likely to intensify further and move into the North Arabian Sea, like I have discussed earlier. The other is a low pressure system that is forming over, uh, over uh, the uh, Bay of Bengal, East Central Bay of Bengal, which is likely to intensify and move westwards and the offshore trough is existing. The western disturbance, I, like I mentioned, the western disturbance is interacting with the monsoon flow and that is why we are getting heavy rainfall over Jammu and Kashmir, Himachal Pradesh has happened and is likely to happen during the week. If you see the track of this monsoon system, it is likely to move westwards and thereafter it is current forecast syndicate, it is likely to de-intensify. Whereas this system, it is likely to have a West -south, westward track across North Peninsular India and Central India and North Peninsular India is likely to get above normal rainfall even during this week. This is the warning in terms of days. If you see the red color warning for Gujarat uh, is for so mainly Saurashtra Kutch region and also orange color warning for uh, 
south karnataka kerala and of course odisha these regions are started to get uh, uh, orange colored very heavy rainfall warnings because the new system which is formed over the bay of bengal it is likely to pull in moisture from this region and uh, give rise uh, intensify the rainfall over this region tomorrow it is likely to increase further over the same region and afterwards as the system moves inland the rainfall is likely to increase over the east central and east peninsular india over uh, uh, there, thereafter as you can see as the system is moving westwards the main rainfall zone very heavy rainfall zone is gradually moving westwards across the country by day 7 which is 4th of august systems is likely to uh, be over gujarat but only heavy rainfall is forecast for the time being this is exactly what i have mentioned and if you see the forecasted rainfall like i have just said the associated with this uh, current deep depression over saurashtra kutch and the coming the growing low pressure area over the bay of bengal the rainfall along the west coast is likely to be above very much above normal during the week and also over peninsular india the week 2 we expect with a low probability a uh, a low pressure to form and because of that we expect uh, rainfall uh, sorry uh, uh, rainfall to again be above normal mainly over the west peninsular coast and to an extent over central india the region of the monsoon trough like i said for cyclogenesis we have currently two systems these are being well reflected in this cyclogenesis picture also the current deep depression over Saurashtra Kutch, low pressure area over Bay of Bengal. Both are indicating that there is likelihood of intensification. Week 2, of course it is not shown here, but there is a probability, moderate probability of a low pressure area forming over the Bay of Bengal in week 2. If we see the fisherman warning uh, impact, mainly it will be fisherman warnings. As you can see the, uh, the highest 45 to 55 Cambridge squally winds is likely during the week mainly over the west central and uh, southwest Arabian Sea and the squally winds with 55 to 65 Cambridge is likely over mainly along the coast over north Arabian Sea this is likely to decrease as the system moves westwards the other impacts expected localized flooding occasional reduction in visibility landslides in damage prone areas river and flooding is likely please follow the cwc warnings and action suggested please follow our bulletin for fishermen as well as judicious regulation of onshore offshore operations should be followed thank you Please follow us on the uh, Mossam app as well as our mossam.imd.gov.in website. Thank you. Good evening.